when your hard drive starts to fail, Disk Utility offers some useful disk repair tools. But if they don't get it done for you, you may want to turn to one of the big guns, FSCK. FSCK, which stands for File System Consistency Check, is a command line tool that reviews and repairs the underlying structure of a hard drive. The FSCK tool in the Mac is the same as the one found in Linux. This video focuses on Mac's user interface and covers how to repair macOS hard drives with FSCK, both mechanical and solid state drives. What are the signs of a hard drive failing? Usually you'll notice that a hard drive is failing on your Mac early on. Here are the most common signs. Crashes. If nothing's wrong with your Mac drives, the device will run smoothly. It's a surefire sign that you need to look into an issue if you suddenly begin dealing with crashes. Your device should crash because of incompatible files and folders, while overheating may also result in your device not working properly. Software errors could lead to the same. Disk errors. Another sign that your hard drive is failing is disk errors on your Mac. These signs include your drive suddenly being unrecognisable to your computer, sluggish performance and random ejections. Error messages. If you see error messages on your Mac, it's often a certain sign that you should look at the state of your hard drive. In many cases, you'll see messages relating to apps quitting unexpectedly or unexpected errors stopping your device from completing a certain task. SMART issues. SMART, or SMART, means Self-Monitoring Analysis and Reporting Technology System. Great acronym. It's used to keep track of the health of your mechanical drives. If you're having problems in this area, your device will warn you with a message saying that your disk has SMART issues. Common contributors to this issue include mechanical failures and excessive humidity. Programs stop running properly. When you use your Mac, your device will store many of the apps and programs you use on your hard drive. If this begins to fail, you may begin to notice that your program stopped running as smoothly. Your Mac may take longer to load, or you could struggle to open apps that you use regularly. Files on your Mac become corrupt. Another sign that your hard drive is failing is that your files become corrupt. Corruptions often occur during the writing phase. If a disk has stopped working properly, you may find that you can no longer use certain files or documents. Mechanical drives making strange noises. This is the biggie. Some level of noise from your Mac is normal, especially if you're running programs that take up a lot of energy. What isn't normal, however, is hearing sounds like clicking and grinding. If you hear these noises, it's a sign that the Mac's mechanical drives aren't working properly. And if left unaddressed over time, these could cause significant damage to the drive. Finding the right disk. Before you can run FSCK, you'll need to find the device node and identifier of the drive you want to target. In this instance, we'll use Terminal's diskutil command to accomplish that. Open Terminal and Applications Utilities Terminal .app. Type the following command and then press Enter. Diskutil list. This will produce a list of all the currently connected drives, both mounted and unmounted. Locate the disk you want to run FSEK on and find its device identifier. It will look like slash dev slash disk1 or something of that sort, and will be found along the left margin of the terminal window. Write this information down somewhere, since you will need it in the next step. Running FSCK from single user mode. macOS won't let you run FSCK from inside the operating system. You'll need to reboot into single user mode, which is a stripped down text only super user interface for macOS. Very cool. Open the Apple menu and select restart. Hold down Command and S while your computer restarts. You can release the keys once you see the white text start to appear in the startup screen. Some white text will scroll by very quickly. When it stops, you'll see a command prompt at the bottom of the screen that says root. To repair the boot disk, type the following command and then press enter. Slash S bin slash FSCK minus FY. This runs FSCK with the F flag, which forces it to check journaled file systems like HFS Plus, as well as the minus Y flag, which automatically says yes to any prompts that FSCK may encounter. FSCK will check the file system and attempt to repair any damage that it finds. If it finds no damage, it will exit with OK. When FSCK is finished checking and repairing the file system, type reboot into the command prompt and press enter. FSCK on the Mac isn't as powerful as FSCK on Linux, but it can still be a lifesaver if you end up with a corrupted boot disk or damaged hard drive. Why not check out our article on things you should do before and after reformatting your hard drive on a Mac? Link in the description. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. I will see you next time.